Argentina. It's a country. If you're a dirty hooligan or a nerd, you might know the place for Messi, or currency fluctuation. Argentina doesn't make the news too often, however, the exact opposite was true in the 80s. The Falkland Islands are considered British territory, but Argentina has claimed them as Islas Malvinas since the 1960s. In accordance with this, they decided to exercise this claim in 1982 by invading the islands, a move that no one liked. This is the part of the vid where we ask, Why? 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 Did Argentina try and take on a maritime superpower for a couple of islands in the middle of nowhere? To answer this question, we have to look at the aggressor in this instance. Did you know? At the turn of the 20th century, Argentina was considered a premier nation on the world stage. With a growing economy and democratic reforms, the country was on an upward trajectory in the 1920s. It naturally follows that they would have a military coup in 1930. Upside is that the liberal president was deposed. Downside is that Argentina had a few rough years. In spite of the organizers' best intentions, the military coup didn't get the country back on track. To fix this, they had a few more. From 1930 to 1983, Argentina went through 27 different heads of state, with an average term of about two years. One of the latter military dictators, Leopoldo Galtieri, was in a bit of a pinch. People were getting tired of his shit, and there was threat of yet another government overthrow. Galtieri needed to bring the people together and have them support his administration. But how could he do it? Did he pass democratic reforms, restructure the economy, stop terrorizing his own people? That's right, he went with secret option D invade the Falkland Islands. Taking over a strategically insignificant island full of people who neither speak your language nor want you there may seem like a very unintelligent move. However, for General Galtieri, this act of aggression was very well received by the Argentinian people. No longer were there protests for democracy. Instead, there were mass demonstrations in favor of the military government. Galtieri and the Argentinians celebrated under the assumption that the UK would just roll over and let them take the islands. Uh. They were wrong. There is a white flag flying over Stanley. <laughs> marvelous. British naval and air forces arrived shortly afterwards, and though both sides sustained losses, Argentina didn't fare well. It may surprise you, but an army of teenage conscripts isn't well matched against multiple internationally renowned military branches. The entire conflict lasted about 10 weeks, and Britain fully snuffed out the Argentinians three weeks after setting foot on the Falklands. Well done, Galtieri. It's worth noting that the war was not limited to just the Falkland Islands, but also the South Georgia Islands and... the Sandwich Islands. Anyways, the Brits secured their overseas holdings, won the war, and kicked the Argentinians out. The results were excellent for British leadership, Thatcher proceeded to win in a landslide back over in the UK, but things were much more dire back home in Argentina. I mentioned earlier that the war was caused by one of the latter leaders of Argentina. After Galtieri and co spearheaded a pointless war that they lost, the Argentinians were pissed. Thanks to numerous civil protests and fury at the government, Galtieri was removed from all positions of power four days after the war ended. A couple interim presidents presided over Argentina thereafter, and in December 1983, free elections were held in Argentina for the first time in over a decade. This was a great development for the Argentinian people, though not so much for the former ruling class. In the end, the war in the Falklands produced some positive change. The Argentinians would no longer stand for their garbage political system, the Falklands was protected, and the UK got more Thatcher. Nonetheless, it's considered a needless conflict and general waste of money and lives. Good thing we learned our lesson.